Chromosomes that both males and females possess in matched sets are called autosomes. The X and Y chromosomes that determine the sex of an individual are called allosomes. Males have one X and one Y chromosome, while females have two X chromosomes. Due to the differences between the X and the Y chromosomes, the number and types of genes inherited by an individual depends upon its gender. The genes present on the X and Y chromosomes are called sex-linked genes. Sex-linked genes and their related traits are further distinguished as either X-linked or Y-linked depending upon which chromosome they are located. With both an X and a Y chromosome, males inherit both X and Y-linked traits while females only inherit X-linked traits. Since males have only one copy of each sex chromosome, they are hemizygous for all sex-linked genes, and they always express the phenotype of the allele they get. In other words, their phenotypes always match their genotypes. Females get two copies of X-linked genes, so they de demonstrate the more typical dominant recessive expression patterns of non-sex-linked traits. These distinctions cause expression patterns of sex-linked traits to differ between male and female offspring. Since the X chromosome is bigger and contains more genes than the Y chromosome, most sex-linked traits are X-linked traits. Wild-type fruit flies have dark red eyes, but there are recessive alleles of this eye color gene, called the white gene, that cause individuals to have white eyes. As a recessive trait, the white-eyed phenotype is masked by the presence of a wild-type red encoding allele. If the white gene were on an autosome, it would exhibit classical Mendelian inheritance patterns. However, the gene is on the X chromosome, making it an excellent illustration of sex-linked inheritance patterns. Since control of eye color is encoded by a gene on the X chromosome, females carry two copies and males carry only one. In females, the presence of a dominant red encoding allele will produce red eyes even if the individual is heterozygous for the white allele. Females can be homozygous dominant for the red encoding allele, giving them red eyes, heterozygous with one of each allele, but exhibiting red eyes, and homozygous recessive with two white encoding alleles, giving them a phenotype of white eyes. With only one copy of the X chromosome, all males are hemizygous for this gene. They have only two options, hemizygous dominant with one red eye allele and red eyes, or hemizygous recessive with one white eye allele, giving them white eyes. The difference between sex-linked inheritance patterns and classic Mendelian patterns can be shown by observing the ratio of male and female red and white-eyed individuals produced with, with reciprocal crosses. Reciprocal crosses involve crossing true beating red and true beating white-eyed individuals. Two reciprocal crosses can be performed, a true breeding red-eyed female with a white-eyed male and a true breeding white-eyed female with a red-eyed male. Performing the first reciprocal cross, a true-breeding red-eyed female, homozygous dominant, with a true-breeding white-eyed male, hemizygous recessive, results in an F1 generation comprised entirely of red-eyed individuals. 100% red-eyed individuals is consistent with what would be predicted based on Mendelian inheritance of a recessive allele. However, with an X-linked gene, the reason for red eyes differs between males and females. All of the female offspring are heterozygous, receiving an X chromosome with a red allele from their mother, and an X chromosome with a white allele from their father. The presence of the red allele masks the presence of the white allele. Male offspring only have one X chromosome, which they receive from their female parent. In this reciprocal cross, that allele encodes for red eyes. So females are red-eyed because the presence of the red-eyed recessive copy is masked, and males are red-eyed because they only have one copy of the gene, and that copy is the red allele. The female's phenotype and genotype are consistent with the pattern discovered by Mendel, but the males, as hemizygotes, are not. The difference between the sexes becomes more apparent when the red-eyed F1 male and red-eyed F1 females are crossed. The results of this cross produce a 3 to 1 ratio of red-eyed to white-eyed individuals, but all of the white-eyed individuals are male. No females have white eyes because they receive one of their X chromosomes from their hemizygous dominant red-eyed father. The male offspring all receive their single X chromosome from their heterozygous female parent, so half receive a red allele and half receive a white allele. Inheritance patterns with the other reciprocal cross, hemizygous dominant male with hemizygous recessive female, diverge from the Mendelian pattern more quickly. The F1 generation contains an equal proportion of white and red-eyed individuals, but all males have white eyes and all females have red eyes. Crossing the F1s again results in a one-to-one -one ratio of red 
and white-eyed individuals, but in the F2 generation, half the female offspring and half the male offspring have red eyes. In both of these reciprocal crosses, patterns in inheritance beyond the F2 generation varies depending upon which F2 individuals are chosen for the cross. The fact that males are hemizygous for sex-linked alleles is the reason X-linked recessive phenotypes are more commonly observed in males. Females can be heterozygous for a trait and therefore carry the recessive allele without expressing it. These carrier females have a 50% chance of passing the recessive allele to their male offspring. These male offspring cannot be carriers. If they receive the recessive allele, they will express the recessive trait. Females expressing detrimental recessive traits like hemophilia are particularly rare because the only way for a female to be more than a carrier is for a female carrier to produce a daughter with an affected male. The extreme case of an affected female mating with an affected male produces 100% affected offspring.